I know. Look. I just want to address it right now. It's the end of March. But just like that song says, it's not too late. It's never too late. For a favorites video. Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello. Welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This was a great day for you to click on this video because if you're new, this is a great way for you to get to know a little bit about me and hopefully find some goodies for yourself because we're talking favorites, baby. We're talking all of my favorite things from this last month of March. I know. Can you even believe we're in March? Like, I'm still not recovered from last March, but on the bright side, I had plenty of favorite things this month to get me through it. We are going to be talking food, clothes, not really beauty products because I don't know beauty anything, uh, but face things, some shoes, and we're going to be talking Netflix. We weren't going to talk Netflix, but they just sent me a notification on my phone and told me that they got some pics for me because they know I haven't turned them on in two days. So let's go ahead and dive right into all my favorite things. First off, I want to start off this favorites video with the one show that I binge watched this month, which was Ginny and Georgia. I started this with my girlfriend and I think we finished it in less than a week. Um, each episode is like an hour long and it's so freaking good. I'm sure everybody and their mother has already watched it, but if you haven't, you need to watch it. It's so good. It's one of those shows where it's like everybody's kind of connected somehow and the thing that I really like about it is it's very suspenseful. There's a lot of backstory that you have to like figure out along the way and it touches like different topics. Like I love a show that will cover like multiple topics at the same time. So they can talk about, you know, mental health issues and they can talk about like a poverty issue or it's, gosh such a good show. If you haven't watched it, take the time to watch it. Know that you're going to want to binge watch it. It's good. Like you're going to sit there and you're going to watch every freaking episode. You're going to finish the whole series within a week. Then you're going to be lost with your life because that's exactly what happened to me. But you're going to love it. I guarantee it. Such a good show. So oh, just watch it. Okay. Just watch it. Believe me, I already Googled like, is there going to be a season two? And it's not going to be for a long time if there is one. So that's disappointing, but it was good. Go watch it. Do yourself a favor. Do it, but also do yourself a favor and make sure you have the time set aside because like I said, each episode is an hour and you're just going to want to keep going and going. Next, I want to show you my favorite pair of shoes right now. I am not super girly when I go out. I don't like to wear heels or anything else. But I will wear some sandals, and sandals are pretty much the only thing besides sneakers that I wear. And I have to share with you my favorite sandals right now. These are from Guess. They're Guess sandals, or G by Guess. No, Guess. Guess sandals. <laughs> and these are so freaking cute. They have like, they're like kind of rose gold in color, not like full gold. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I'm so sorry about the reflection. Oops. Anyway, but they're kind of rose gold. They have this cute like chain detail here. They are sparkly gold here. And they're just a very simple, but like they're cute enough to where it can kind of class anything up just a little bit. So it's perfect for a date night or, you know, you just want to go out and sparkle and shine. Look, I am a failure to all Floridians because I live right down the road from the beach. But I am never tan. I am pale. I am so pale. I never go to the beach. I never tan. And like, I don't know how to self tan, okay? I just, I can't. So when I was at the store and I found these by Jergens, I said, okay, okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it and see. 
So these are the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer for fair to medium skin tones. And I've been using this for probably like two weeks now and I definitely can actually like tell a difference. This natural glow has collagen and elastin in it which I guess is supposed to be like a firming moisturizer and it's also cruelty free and basically what it's supposed to do is like gradually like help to improve your color and I definitely think that it has actually helped. I'm so sorry if you can hear the dogs. It's like delivery time in the neighborhood so mail trucks going by, Amazon trucks going by, you know sorry so I think this is great I use this on my whole body except for my face and then I actually found that they have a face moisturizer also so this one is a daily moisturizer for your face and it actually has SPF 20 in it and this one is fair to medium skin tones also so this one I put on my face and down through my neck and I definitely feel like I can tell a difference like I'm still white, okay? I'm still very white, but I feel like I have a, a little bit of a tan glow, you know? So, and I like this too because it does have sunscreen in it, um, especially now that we're coming into spring and summertime. You know, sunscreen every day. Wear your sunscreen or I'm coming for you! Um, so I pair that with a, another moisturizer. I use the free with SPF in it. And, you know, mm -hmm. We're taking care of skin protected and we're getting a little tanner at the same time. The other, not really beauty, but just self-care, yeah? That's what we can call it, self-care item, are the Yes to Cucumber Scented Flavored Whatever uh, De-Puffing Under Eye Mask. So these are really nice because I picked these up at Sephora or Ulta, one of the, no. Definitely Ulta. I picked these up at Ulta. So basically, they are these little under eye patches. I'll try to show you what they look like. So they look like this, and they're just under eye patches, and they come with, I think it's a set of four. So 16, wait, four, 16. Glug, glug. Mm. Math is really hard sometimes, guys. It comes with 16 single eye masks, so eight sets. So basically what you do, you put them on your eyes, you let them sit there for like 10 minutes, it'll tingle just a little bit, but afterwards, like I definitely feel like the puffiness has gone down, and like y'all, I am always tired and I always have allergies. So, you know, any help that I can get with the under eye bag department, I desperately need. Um, I feel like between this and my roller that I showed you guys in my last favorites video, I feel like has definitely like provided some help. Especially because like now that we're coming into springtime like my allergies are terrible y'all my allergies are Off the freaking charts if you have allergies like that, too I'm so sorry because I feel your pain and I feel like this has kind of already helped me So I feel like if I go into the spring months, you know allergy months with that same routine Hopefully I can not look like I don't know. I got beat up at night so we're just saying a prayer that it works. I will say though, I have been sleeping a little bit better, all thanks to these Ollie Sleep Gummies. So these are the Ollie brand sleep gummies. Um, the thing I love about these is I had never taken melatonin before, I don't think, and I was always so nervous to take melatonin because I was like worried it was gonna make me groggy or like make me feel like I was like hungover and I'm just not about that life. Um, but this one is melatonin and L-theanine, um, and I guess the combination of them, it doesn't so much, I want to say, put me to sleep necessarily, but I feel like it kind of helps to, like, quiet the noise in my head, you know, like, do you guys go to lay down at night, and then you start thinking about, like, so many things, and then you're, like, down the rabbit hole in your head, or you're, like, down the rabbit hole on the internet, or whatever, like, I can't deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. And I feel like the combination of the L-theanine and the melatonin really helps to just kind of like actually calm me down. I still do the nightly meditation that I told you guys about before. So I feel like I'm actually like developing a nighttime routine, which is great. Um, and these have definitely been helpful and they don't taste bad. Uh, I know I tried the women's multivitamins from Ollie and they tasted rough and they smelled even rougher but these ones I don't mind 
at all and they don't like make my stomach feel weird or anything so totally recommend those if you guys can't sleep I also have been finally back in the space of like going to the gym like pretty consistently which feels great I definitely feel a lot better and you know I knew when I got back into the gym I was also gonna need some recovery you know that's where this bad boy comes in and look I know what you're thinking. Why are you showing me something pumpkin spice when it's freaking March? Well, because I don't lie to you guys here, okay? That's my favorite right now, so that's what I'm showing you. Um, this is the Bomar Nutrition Protein Pumpkin Spice. I got this a little while ago. I think it was like right after like pumpkin spice season I think they had like a sale on the Bomar Nutrition website and I just ordered it on like a whim I was like oh it'll probably be good for like waffles or pancakes or whatever and I have been t having that taking having taking I've been having that every time after I work out and it has it just tastes so freaking good tastes great so that a little water or maybe a little almond milk just shakey shake so good and it's not like overly pumpkin-y like fake pumpkin it's more like nutmeggy nutmeg-ish and I really appreciate that because I think sometimes when especially with like protein powders like when they try to make it pumpkin spice flavored it's just like too much it's like too sweet so this one is the perfect taste and like the texture is so nice like it blends really well so totally recommend that like I said I know it's freaking March right now I know that okay but I like it um and I definitely don't think they have it on their website right now because again November was 500 years ago pumpkin spice season is past but when they get it back you should order it it's delicious you know just wait a few more months we'll be in pumpkin spice season again now let's move on to some snack items I have been really into snacks when I get home from work lately and my favorite snack right now are these everything rice cakes oh my goodness gravy these are so good like you know normally with a rice cake you got to put stuff on it to actually make it taste good these I can eat by themselves and they're delicious um, my favorite thing to do with these is to put like avocado and like chili flakes on them or sometimes I'll do like laughing cow cheese and mustard and turkey on them so good um, or I'll do like hummus and ham or hummus and like peppers on them so freaking delicious even these just like by themselves I don't know there's almost like a like a cheddary white cheddary powder on the outside plus the everything bagel seasoning together Ooh. They're so good. They're so freaking good. Listen, y'all know I love Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero, but now Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero has some competition because we have Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melon. Look, this guy, this guy, this little melon guy. So good. It's like Mountain Dew, but with like watermelon in it. It's so good. It's pretty freaking sweet. I will say that. It's almost like if you took a Jolly Rancher and you melted it down and you put it in a bottle. This right here. And my last food item for you. Perfect for Easter, which is right around the corner. Reese's Mallow Tops. So these are Reese's, but the top layer of them is like a marshmallow flavored cream well oh gosh these are so freaking good we're just gonna have one okay so you open it and then it's got this white marshmallow cream on the top you see it's like it's like two colors and that top layer is all this like marshmallowy cream mm-hmm mm-hmm if you want to pack somebody's Easter basket and you want them to love you these some Reese's eggs in a basket done boom you're welcome you know Peter Cottontail I got you covered mm-hmm I have to tell you guys about the leggings that I've literally been wearing every freaking day well, I wear leggings to work okay I'm not ashamed 
I'm not ashamed. And right now, I have the best freaking leggings ever. They make my butt look good. They're comfortable. They're compressive, but not like so compressive that I can't breathe. They are the everything legging from American Eagle. Um, I buy the black ones and just wear the black ones all the time, but they have a couple of their colors. They are pretty affordable. I want to say they're like $39.95 each, but you know, American Eagle always has sales where it's like buy one, get one 50% off. So always get them when they're on sale. But the everything leggings are great. Some of them have pockets, and I will say the ones with pockets fit a little bit differently, like they're looser almost, especially in the crotch, um, than the normal ones. But the normal ones, wow, I mean, they take my butt and they're just like, Whoosh! you know? And then they're just smooth and they're comfortable and they're great and you can't, they're, they're squat proof. You can't see anything through them, so it's amazing. Highly recommend them. Get them if you haven't. So good. And you know, I figure now we're all just going to continue to wear the leggings all the time, right? So do yourself a favor. Go get them. Especially if you're still working from home. Just <laughs> leggings every day. Am I right? And that's all I have for you guys. These are all of my favorite things right now. All of the things that I cannot live without. All of the things I eat every day or wear all the time or I'm sipping on like it's not anybody's business. Oh, I just shook this up. Anyway, <laughs> these are all the things I've been loving and can't live without and hopefully they inspired you to buy something. I mean, you should definitely try some of these things. But I want to know, what is your favorite freaking thing right now? What is your all-time favorite at the moment let me know anyway thank you guys so much for watching i love you i appreciate you stay positive and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye